has never heard of Big Daddy Ken. <laughs> the smooth operator. <laughs> no, uh, I guess I could just say somebody quiet, low key. With a lot of confidence? A lot of confidence. Where and did you get that from? Probably my father. Probably my father. How did he give it to you? I mean, you know, just from, you know, watching the way he handles situations. Uh, he, you know, well, he goes for whatever he wants, and, you know, he don't take no junk from nobody. Give me a little background about yourself. Where did you grow up? I grew up on Lewis Avenue in Bed-Stuy, Bedford-Stuyvesant. Um, it was uh, me, my younger brother, my mother and father. Don't you find it unique that you were fortunate to have your mother and father living at home? Oh, yeah, you don't see much of that today. And they're still together, I'm happy to say. When they're together, it's beautiful mm -hmm. because it's not, you don't, you don't um, have to go to your father, you don't have to go to your mother, you just go to your family. Cause ever since I was young, I could keep girls from just by the movement of my tongue. I remember it all starting way back in um, kindergarten. Some place with Big Daddy Kane creates excitement wherever he goes. And at a men's boutique on Chicago's South Side called La Funch for Men, there was no exception. We conducted our interview there because next to his music, fashion is also very important to this stylish rap artist. I got something real bad for you. Excellent. Okay. I have always been deep into fashion. When my father would go to work when I was young, I would go in his closet and try on all his clothes and just stand in the mirror and pose. I also like, admired all the old movies, like the Mac, and Superfly, and Black Caesar, the way they was dressed, like the way they get into their fashion. I mean, the way they throw on their best gear to go out and, you know, flash at a certain party and stuff. How would you describe your style? <laughs> <laughs> Probably like the people in the Mac. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, when your platforms are, you ain't wearing platforms. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't push it that far. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I know I wear a lot of strange clothes. I, I wear the big brim hat too. <laughs> I wear a lot of paisley. You see this crazy tie guy? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna speak on the jacket if you think the tie is crazy. <laughs> Step up, girls, and get something to treasure, and welcome to the smooth operator's palace of pleasure. And if you're wondering if I want it, I got a craftmatic with your name written on it. I reminisce saying I... The 80s was the decade of rap. What do you think the 90s is going to be like? Maybe um, a rap R&B fusion. Cause I noticed a lot, of, a lot of people with the Jeeps mm -hmm. that's used to, like, booming the real underground sound. I hear them now playing a lot of R&B also. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know the rap is definitely here to stay. Well, um, I think it might be the rap R&B fusion. You know, B.W., I've heard it said that a woman is a man's greatest gift. Sure you're right. And success ain't nothing unless you have someone to share it with. Mm, so true. So true. With the help of the original rapper, the soulful Barry White, Big Daddy K may have already started his own blend of rap R&B fusion. Not having someone other than yourself to share what it is. Show you that His sexually explicit lyrics have raised a few eyebrows, but sex is a subject Big Daddy Kane prefers to drugs and violence. You have a tremendous amount of sex appeal, but yet that sex appeal seems to have created a controversy because there were a lot of nasty rumors flying around that you had AIDS. What do you say to those rumors? Rumors, I don't know. I don't never really pay them no attention because years ago I watched Jam Master Jay go through it. They said he was dead. And I also um, watched Rakim go through it. They said that he was a drug dealer and he's in jail. All these rumors die once your album come out. See, my album wasn't out. Once my album came out, the rumors started dying. Although, however, I wish I could have been dead or in jail, I mean, you know, because um, once mm -hmm. they see you, they know that it's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, AIDS is kind of hard to prove. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, it's not true. Mm -hmm. And it, the rule, I don't even hear it no more. I hear you. If you had the chance to be anything other than a rapper, what would you be? I'd love to be the next Fred Williamson who could 
come to town, you know, jump out of jacuzzi with two women butt naked and throw the champagne glass back in the water, just go out and kill up all the bad guys, then probably get shot at the end or something. Then all the girls in the movie there to cry, something like that. <laughs> He's not Fred Williamson yet, but Kane does get the job done. I'll work. 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 I'